Hey, here are 16 crazy boats you have to see to believe. Number 16. The Looker 350. This is a glass bottom boat called the Looker 350. Its impressive qualities involve stability, low fuel consumption, and incredibly high speed. Other great features? Well, how about the ability to transport 30 passengers? And since it's all glass bottom, you get the most amazing view while cruising around the water. It doesn't get much better than this. Number 15, the hot tub boat. Each hot tub boat is equipped with built-in dry storage, a waterproof radio with flush mount speakers, and two to four coolers. The boat can accommodate up to six persons while underway and eight at dockside. Hot tub boats are powered by an almost silent electric motor at approximately four knots. Surrounded by 104 degree water in a one-of-a-kind vessel, a truly unique, relaxing and unforgettable experience. Number 14. Turinor Planet Solar, world's largest solar-powered yacht. Known under the project name Planet Solar, this is the largest solar-powered boat in the world. The 31-meter boat is covered by 537 solar panels, rated at 93 kilowatts, which in turn connect to two electric motors, one in each hull. There are 8.5 tons of lithium-ion batteries in the ship's two hulls. The boat's shape allows it to reach speeds of up to 14 knots. The boat was designed to be used as a luxury yacht after the record attempt was finished. It's currently being used as a floating marine research laboratory by Geneva University. Number 13. The Wooden Ferrari Boat Yes, you're looking at a wooden Ferrari made into a boat. Or is it a wooden boat made to look like a Ferrari? Who knows? What we do know is it's the creation of Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, and it saw its maiden voyage in September of 2014. It took them countless hours by museum staffers to carve the life-size Ferrari replica and bring it to life. It took them a few months to make sure it was seaworthy, but the end result was spectacular. You can currently find it at the San Diego Air and Space Museum as part of a special exhibit. If you want to buy it, tough luck. This boat is not for sale. Number 12, the plane boat. This was actually the very first high altitude commercial aircraft. The pressurized cabin allowed it to fly higher than any other air transport before Howard Hughes turned it into his own plush flying office. By the late 60s, it was eventually grounded. Then a local pilot removed the wings, tail, and rudder and welded it to a boat hull. In 1994, the aircraft was completely rebuilt, first by replacing the hull and then rebuilding the interior as close as possible to the way Howard Hughes had designed it in 1948. The cockpit is still intact and is actually used to maneuver the watercraft. Number 11, the Love Love Boat. A trickster as well as an artist, Julian Berthier, has created a 21-foot sculpture that looks just like a capsizing ship. In fact, it's so convincing that many a boater has stopped to assist. Berthier cut a yacht in half and then made some serious modifications. The result? When anchored, it looks just like a sinking ship, but, and here's the really cool part, it can still glide on water just like a regular boat, thanks to an onboard motor. Number 10, the tractor boat. When you think of tractors, you typically don't think of spending a relaxing day on the lake, but now you can. Greek tractor company Peoris created this amphibious tractor after many of their customers recommended building a waterborne tractor for, you know, lake plowing. The wheels are made of airtight barrels which keep it afloat. You probably never thought you'd see a video of a man riding a tractor in a lake. Well, now you can cross that off your bucket list. I know I will. Number 9. Ego Semi-Submarine. It only takes five minutes to learn how to operate Ego. It's as easy as riding a bike. 
Just step down to the helm station and you can see the underwater world in front of you. The watercraft is 12 feet 8 inches long. It's got two 3 horsepower thrusters and the maximum speed is 3 knots. It's electrically powered and has a running time of 8 hours. It's got an HD camera, LCD screen, depth finder, two-way radio, an hour meter, and a joystick. They say it's safe and fun. Number 8. The Guitar Boat. Josh Pike's giant acoustic guitar slash speedboat has sold on eBay for $7,100. It was built for Pike's Make You Happy Music video, and it's been a popular feature at the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney's Darling Harbour ever since. All proceeds from the sale go to the Indigenous Literacy Project. I wonder if it plays. Number 7. The Footprint Boat Every now and again a truly one-of-a-kind boat comes along and the new footprint certainly is unlike any other craft afloat. At first glance you can't be sure if it's a pontoon boat, a houseboat, or a camper. But the fact is it's a little bit of each. It's powered by a set of 40 horsepower outboards. It's 27 feet 10 inches long, has a fuel capacity of 54 gallons. The freshwater capacity is 10 gallons, and it weighs 5,500 pounds. Number 6. The Hamiko Water Bus. Based in Tokyo, Japan, the Hamiko Water Bus looks like a spaceship. But it's a water bus, and it holds a lot of people who want to go from one place to another place. And sometimes we have more footage than we have copy. And sometimes the copy is written in Japanese. And I don't read Japanese. But the Hamiko really is a water bus, and really does hold a lot of people who really want to go from one place to another place. Thank you for listening. Number 5. Duck Tour Boats The duck tours began in the Wisconsin Dells in the 1940s and have since spread internationally. Duck tour boats are the worst of both amphibious worlds, however, bulky and slow on land and awkward and sluggish in the water. Still, it's far more exciting than just an ordinary sightseeing bus tour or river trip. Number 4. The Big Zipper Boat I can think of a lot of better things to model a boat after, but there it is, zipping through the water. Just look at him fly. I'm not sure why anyone would want to design a boat after a zipper, but I suppose it's better than a zit. Number 3. The Proteus Boat. At 100 feet long, Proteus is a technology demonstrator and was launched in 2007. Succeeding its maiden voyage in the San Francisco Bay, the manned Proteus continued to sail over 3,000 miles in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Mediterranean, and on a goodwill mission for NOAA's Marine Sanctuary Program. From October 2007 to April 2012, the vessel was stationed at Fort Story's Joint Expeditionary Base in Norfolk, Virginia. Number 2. Sailing Yacht A 
A mammoth $450 million sailing yacht was spotted pulling out of a shipyard in Germany en route to Spain, where it'll undergo further sea trials as part of months of rigorous testing before it's handed over to its wealthy owner. The 460-foot-long vessel owned by a Russian billionaire was an impressive sight to behold as it set sail from the German naval yard in Kiel, north of Hamburg. The impressive superyacht, which has three 300-foot masts that are taller than Big Ben's tower, was imaginatively named Sailing Yacht A by its owner. The boat's internal fit-out is set to continue at another shipyard before it's due to be handed over to its owner in late spring. Number 1. The Albatross Zero This is actually a boat and a glider combined. It's the perfect marriage of flying and sailing. It's capable of reaching speeds equivalent to those of other general aviation type airplanes such as Cessna and Piper. The glider comes as a kit which you put together. All pieces are clearly marked and labeled. With a bit of time and instruction in hand, you can actually build your own flying boat. Now that's pretty cool. We'd like to know which boat you like best. So please comment below. We read them all. And as always, thank you for watching.